What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Knights of Horror channel. If you guys aren't familiar with my second channel, The Geek Vault, I highly suggest you guys go subscribe because I have been doing a series about conspiracy theories or theories at Disneyland. Um, and today I am going to kind of do um, a preview video of what we talk about and I thought a couple of these theories for Disneyland fit this channel's theme ultimately because this channel talks all about horror and a lot of these theories about Disneyland are scary. Uh, these are of course the 17 Disney Park Conspiracy Theories that will scare the hell out of you by BuzzFeed. If you guys want to read more on the article I'll link the uh, link in the description below so you can uh, have a look for yourselves maybe um, take a look at that. So this is going to be talking about all the Disney parks or anything Disney related. So let's just get started with number one. Someone got decapitated at Disney World's Space Mountain. Um, so legend has it that a man stood up on the roller coaster and got his head cut off. Uh, though this has been debunked, a man did stand up at Disneyland's Matterhorn in 1964 hitting his head which resulted in his death. So ultimately, there's a th there's a, of course a theory going around that this guy stood up on the Matterhorn and got decapitated. That didn't happen, Disney said. But in 1964, someone got uh, hit his head, it stood up on the Matterhorn, and ultimately died. So it wasn't happening on the uh, Space Mountain, but it happened on the Matterhorn. Uh, number two, the spirit of a little boy lurks in the haunted mansion in Orlando. Now this one has picture proof. This honestly can be fake. This could literally just be a boy poking his head out of the ride, but I'll put the picture up and you guys can be the judges of that. But cast members have said they hear him giggling and mimicking the hurry back lady after the ride shuts down at night. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to literally have different thoughts going into freaking Haunted Mansion here in California now every time I hear that. Thanks a lot, BuzzFeed. <laughs> Moving on, number three is going to go to the characters at Disneyland's It's a Small World uh, come to life even when unplugged. Um, cast members have often swear that they see the dolls blink or appear in different places than the day before. Um, that is honestly pretty scary, um, especially if you're a horror fan and you like Chucky. Shows you good guy girls can be real. So, yeah. Walt Disney still haunts the firehouse apartment on Main Street in Disneyland. Uh, that is number four. Uh, an employee was cleaning the apartment shortly after Disney died and the lamp in the window kept turning on by itself. Now the park keeps the lamp uh, on as a tribute to Disney. People swear they occasionally see the curtains moving on their own. That's an interesting theory and if you go to Disneyland, if you look at the firehouse that's next to City Hall, you do see a light on that is in tribute of uh, Walt Disney himself because he actually used to stay in the park and that used to be his little uh, room up there so it's a pretty cool little theory but if it's moving on its own Walt Disney's still around making sure his park's running smoothly hey Walt if you're uh, still around can you lower them prices too number five people constantly try to dump their ashes of their loved ones on Disney property I have heard this theory before because a lot of people try to do it on rides specifically Pirates of the Caribbean because why wouldn't you want to be fucking on Pirates of the Caribbean but it says this was supposed uh, this has supposedly become such a uh, such so much of a problem over the years that employees have been trained on how to handle a guest when they think remains are being scattered around Disney so that's kind of interesting. If you ever work at Disney, or if you do work at Disney, uh, leave in the comments below. Did you guys did you guys get trained to deal with the guests who uh, are, are scattering their ashes around the park? I would love to hear what they tell you to do if you see a guest doing that. Um, I just want to hear what it sounds like. Uh, I do have a couple friends. Maybe I'll ask them. <laughs> um, the ghost of a former employee haunts Disney World's Tower of Terror. That is number six. The story, the story goes like this. A cast member had a heart attack while loading guests onto the ride and died in the building. His spirit haunts the ride now. Uh, Platform D is supposed spooky spot the current employees are scared of. Um, I wouldn't blame them because uh, if this is true <laughs> and it's the Tower of Terror, it goes hand in hand with spookiness, man. That's why we have Gardens of the Galaxy now, which uh, spookiness is not too there. But if you guys are familiar with the loading uh, dock for Tower of Terror, there is 
of course, the, the elevator that holds the people before. There's ultimately that little hallway, and then there's the ride uh, vehicle that you uh, ultimately get on. In between that hallway, though, when the ride's going on, the people are waiting. It's just, it's no one there. So I can see why people would get scared of that. Um, number seven, the seance book in Disney World's Haunted Mansion was originally a real 14th century book of witchcraft. Nice, Disney. Nice. What are you trying to teach these kids witchcraft at, like, age seven? They're going to go up and read that book and then fucking summon something. Nice, Disney. It says, cast members had the hardest time keeping the book in the upright position. The table would often be turned over or the book would be somewhere else. They finally had to replace it. You guys didn't think of that, like, in the beginning? Nice job, Disney. Well done. Teaching kids fucking witchcraft. That's awesome. Number eight, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disney World is haunted by a spirit named George. If you guys don't know who George is, George is the other half of the host of the Mile Four podcast, my cousin, and also my dad. Uh, my dad's name is George as well. It's a pretty well-known name in the family, but here we go. My sister's roommate did the college program, and she said that if they didn't say good morning, George, and good night, George, at the beginning and end of the day, respectively, the ride would shut down, and they'd have problems with it all day. Gee, I wonder if all the rides are haunted because a lot of rides tend to break down at Disneyland. Fucking who's not saying good morning and bye to these guys? Come on. Number nine, a teen drowned trying to swim from Tom Sawyer's Tom Sawyer's Tom Sawyer's Island back to the main Disneyland park. I have heard this one. This is because this river is a man-made river and not a legit river. That's why um, they ended up drowning. I think maybe he couldn't probably swim that route but the story goes two brothers snuck out and hid on the island until park closing they tried swimming back to the main park the older with the younger one on his back but the older one went under they found his body the next morning that means the younger one lived um which is good except it is tragic that the uh, um older one had passed away and yeah that's one of the most infamous um theories at disneyland park so um next time you go on tom Sawyer's. Don't fucking sneak over at night just to try to swim back because you will probably die in that river. Thanks, Disney. Number 10, a ghost used to haunt the people mover in Orlando, which would cause the ride to shut down all the time. Now, if you guys are not aware of the people mover, it was a very famous attraction here in Disneyland. They had to shut it down due to someone actually getting killed because they used to play this game on the people mover where people would switch cars and stuff like that someone ultimately ended up falling in between and getting crushed to death so they ended up just closing the other ride forever uh, i heard it's still open at orlando though so if you ever want to go check it out and ride it go down to orlando florida to disney world and they still have it open and this is the story a young kid died on the ride by jumping from car to car we swear his spirit haunted the stock room and he opened the emergency exit doors on the track that were locked so it happened at actually Disney World, but theirs is still open for some reason. But uh, you guys be the judge of that. If you guys go to Disney World and you guys uh, ultimately just stop out of nowhere, you can take the kid ghost. This is why you follow the rules at theme parks, because ultimately you will end up getting killed if you don't. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle at all times, please. Thank you. Number 11, a cast member was crushed between the walls of Disneyland's America Sings ride. I've also heard about this one, and I will read you the story, and then I'll give you my thoughts about it. This one, this was one of the most tragic events in Disney Park history. After the incident in 1974, the ride was uh, rebranded to a carousel of progress and eventually shut down altogether. Um, so, okay, they didn't really talk about it, but ultimately what happened in this was, I think there's a YouTube video on it, they don't show her dying, but you do hear the terrifying screams. I will link down in the description below if you guys dare to watch it. That is completely up to you. I'm not going to watch it because that shit gives me nightmares. Ultimately what happened though was this movie or, it's, the building is still there today, they just don't spin it like they used to. But ultimately what happened was, a uh, cast member, uh, it was a show called um, America Sings, and you go from room to room, but you end up moving the stages, uh, you know, they don't. So you just move around in a circle. Uh, it used to be Innoventions, and they moved for a little bit, and then they stopped the moving. Uh, they opened up the moving, and they stopped it again. And then now, as of right now, it's Star Wars Launch Bay. So um, I guess an employee was talking or wasn't paying attention of some sort. The lights had went out to transition to the next room, and ultimately 
she did not see where she was at and she went in between the two walls of the, tra of the transition of the room and ultimately got crushed to death. You can hear her screams in the video. It is very terrifying, very disturbing. So viewer discretion is advised if you're going to watch that video. Ultimately, just warning you here right now. So the video is in the description below if you guys want to hear those screams. Uh, it's a very sad and tragic video. Number 12, Disneyland has a strange ghost who can sometimes be seen running along the monorail track. I have never seen or heard of this theory, but the theory goes. While the ghost part may not be true, a man did die after trying to sneak into the park in 1966. Thomas Cleveland climbed a wall onto the monorail track. When spotted by security, he bolted and was hit by the monorail. I have never seen a ghost on the track. I don't know where they said you can supposedly see a ghost on the track, so I need to be on the lookout the next time this happens, or maybe the uh, next time I see someone in, of course, the monorail, because that thing goes all the way around the park, downtown Disney and stuff. Uh, we're gonna go full circle, uh, because I did talk about this early on in the video, didn't know this was part of the theory list, but uh, we already talked about this, but we'll, we'll see what uh, BuzzFeed had to say. Someone hang themselves on It's a Small World at Disneyland. This is generally assumed to be untrue. While passengers were being evacuated for safety concerns, one lady took pictures. One image showed someone hanging from the ceiling above the ride, but many think it's a prop. Take a look for yourself here. Warning, the photo is real. It is very disturbing. Um, I will put the photo on the screen. Number 14, the spirit of a man haunts Disneyland Space Mountain and sometimes people see him fall off the ride. It's very disturbing. Mr. Wedway died while helping build the uh, helping build the ride, and never got to see it finished. Sometimes he'll ride next to you. When I worked at Disney, we'd have guests screaming that there was a guy next to them on the ride who was there but fell out. It's kind of disturbing. I love that ride too. And I, don't, I hope I'm, I'm never going to sit alone on that ride again. Number fifteen: A man died of a heart attack while riding Disney World's Haunted Mansion because it was too terrifying. Wow, it's a Disney attraction. It's their version of a dark ride, but I want to read what this is like. Okay, this ended up being untrue, thankfully. Uh, people speculated this was the reason for the delayed opening of the ride, but the unfortunate true reason was Walt Disney's death in 1966. Yep, people will do anything for a story. Number 16, there's an abandoned water park at Disney World, and allegedly music still plays over the loudspeakers. That is just creepy. I have, however, seen this water park. There is videos on YouTube. I will uh, try to find a video and link it in the description below. If you guys get to see that, check it out. It's it's pretty cool. Some people visit this abandoned theme park, but it was called River Country, and it was open from the 70s until 2001. People who documented their explorations of the park have dealt heavy heavy repercussions from the Disney company. So if you're planning on sneaking in, don't, because you're going to get sued or something like that. Uh, and finally, number 17... Uh, Walt Disney was suspected to use Club 3D for Freemason or, you know, Illuminati meetings. Many people thought Walt Disney was a member of the Freemasons, a group that, in many conspiracy theories, is believed to be run by the Illuminati in an attempt to establish the New World Order. Creepy. If you guys aren't familiar with Club 33, um, originally it was built, Walt Disney intended it to be built for uh, celebrities like a VIP hotspot where you can just pop in from get away from the crowds and have a ultimately a drink or something like that Unfortunately, he died before it opened up and after he died they opened it up. There's a $12,000 a year membership is a $24,000 uh, Put down just to join in um, But if that is true and Walt Disney made that just for Illuminati um, Freemasons uh, Meetups then Illuminati confirmed <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure if you guys like this conspiracy theory thing or theories in general of the Disney parks, hit my channel up, The Geek Vault. Because I am going to be making a new series, or I'm already making the series. I'm going to be making more videos to the series about amazing theories at Disneyland parks and just Disney in general. So be on the lookout, guys. Videos are coming in hot. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.